honorable commanding officer associate ncc officers permanent instructors and uh, my dear cadets we continue the discussion of the aims and objectives of ncc in the previous lecture we learned the history of founding of the ncc and today of course uh, we have to move forward to a discussion of the objectives of NCC. In the previous session also we discussed the aims of NCC and we know that NCC has three main aims. One is of course to develop character, comradeship, selfless values, a lot of qualities, very good qualities in the cadets, the young men of the country. And uh, number two is of course right uh, to make it, to create an organized, uh, trained, motivated youth for the country. And number three is, of course, to inspire the young men and women to join the armed forces. Today, we just continue our uh, lecture and we see the objectives of NCC. NCC has a lot of objectives. And uh, in fact, to be very precise, there are eight objectives and we are discussing all the eight objectives of the national cadet corps and before beginning the uh, objectives as is, let me just tell each of you if you have joined ncc if you are wearing the uniform of uh, the different wings uh, the army wing the navy wing and the air force wing of uh, the national cadet corps be happy because you are representing the country and you got a wonderful opportunity to serve the nation to build your character to have a wonderful personality to be a very good leader and now be proud of being a national credit card and to other students i'm just requesting the other students of the schools and colleges of india please join the national credit card because it will help you to be a wonderful person to be a great leader and also to serve your country. And now let us look at the objectives of National Credit Corps. The first objective is to reach out to the maximum youth in various educational institutions of uh, the country. So this is the purpose, the, the objective. The first objective is to reach to the youth of uh, the country. Through, of course, right, and we have NCC in schools, we have uh, the junior division, we have the junior wing for uh, the young boys and girls in schools, and we have, of course, the senior wing and senior division, and uh, through these institutions, NCC or National Credit Corps is trying to reach the young men, because today's young men they are, are, of course, they are the backbone of the country. They will be deciding the future of the country. And NCC, the first objective of NCC is to reach out to the maximum youth through various institutions of the country. And it is everywhere in all the uh, states of uh, India, all the districts of India. Now we come to the second objective of NCC, that is to make National Care Corps as an important part of the society. This is very, very important objective to make National Credit Corps as an important part of uh, society. We will see that right now in uh, uh, every uh, every place, uh, rather in all the, the panchayats, we have uh, uh, the activities and NCC, the activities of the NCC, the Credit National Credit Corps. And of course, um, ev almost every day, we look at uh, the media, we look at the newspaper, we can see the activities of uh, the National Credit Corps cadets and uh, this is again the object of uh, the National Credit Corps to reach uh, out uh, rather to, to make National NCC as an important part of uh, society. Yeah, we are helping people during drought, we are helping people during flood, we are also just uh, serving the uh, uh, people, of course, uh, keep their surroundings clean, keep the campus clean, keep, of course, the roads clean, and uh, we 
discharge NCC National Credit Corps discharge a lot of uh, wonderful services and this way through all these activities and celebrations and functions we are just becoming part of society that is the second objective of NCC and now we see the third to uh, teach positive thinking and attitude in the youth this is very important the third objective to teach positive thinking and attitude in the youth any kid who joins the NCC is always very very uh, hard working very hard working ready to work hard ready of course to just uh, spend any amount of uh, time energy even even money they are ready to serve for uh, the society and country so this is very to to teach positive thinking and attitude and now we know we have a number of activities like uh, the institution level training we have of course uh, a, a lot of camps uh, at uh, the uh, colleges of course the battalion level camps then we have of course state level camps national integration camps so all these camps helps the student to just uh, improve his uh, qualities rather positive thinking and attitude and this is the uh, third objective that is to to teach positive thinking and attitude in the youth so if the, the youth is of course the strength of the nation and if they don't think positively if they don't have the right attitude the country will be in trouble and uh, the purpose is to create uh, to teach positive thinking and uh, positive attitudes in the young men of the country and uh, of course NCC is just helping uh, the young men to have positive thinking and attitudes this is yet another objective now we come to the fourth objective of national career core uh, that is to become a main source of national integration and uh, NCC is a force of the nation irrespective of caste, creed and religion and this is very important. So NCC, National Credit Corps, is a source of national integration. So this particular uh, largest youth organization of the world, and of course the organization of India, is creating national integration. So through a number of camps, through a number of uh, training activities, a National Credit Corps is just uh, upholding the principles and values of uh, national integration so cadets do not think about religion caste creed or color the what they think is about being an indian just very proud of just uh, uh, saluting the tricolor national flag of uh, the country just uh, respecting anything that is representing the nation any symbol, any emblem, and even just all, all the days they are just uh, repeating the national anthem and they just forget the fact that they have a religion. Religion, caste, creed, community, all that is not important. What is important is being an Indian and uh, national integration, that feeling of being one with the country, one with India is the fourth objective of NCC become a main source of national integration and this is a force of the nation in irres irrespective of caste, creed and religion and the fifth objective of NCC is to mold the youth of the country into a united secular and disciplined citizens of the nation so to have we should we need a young uh, uh, force a large number of young men we, who is of course uh, uh, united yeah ncc it is it is a team no matter whether they young men are from jammu and kashmir or from delhi or from Lucknow or from west bengal or from of course uh, uh, maharashtra or from karnataka or tamil nadu or kerala everyone come comes together in a camp so it is to unite it is to unite and, and also to to have a secular 
people do not care for religion they are free to uh, to have of course secular ideas and values and they just live together spend together discuss and they are of course very disciplined and this is the fifth objective of ncc to mold the youth of the country into a united secular and disciplined citizen of the nation and now the sixth objective of ncc is to provide a platform for the youth in nation building very important so today through the different educational institutions like schools and colleges etc national credit core cadets are contributing to the building of the nation they do whatever they can they are just doing little things like uh, cleaning the campus uh, similarly just uh, uh, we hear about of course cadets building houses for their friends poor people and distributing food similarly of course they just uh, conduct a lot of activities and through these activities like traffic awareness camps similarly aids awareness blood donation of course uh, all these uh, programs the ncc arrange uh, we have of course uh, the national nation building uh, the, the country is just uh, or even ordinary people normal layman understand the significance of uh, uh, being eco-friendly being uh, uh, just conserving the environment being friendly towards the surroundings be keeping the significance of keeping the surroundings clean and uh, trying uh, our best to ordinary people will try their best to of course uh, uh, stop pollution contamination so all this is just uh, directly as well as indirectly contributing to the nation building and uh, similarly we have of course issues like conflicts and uh, uh, internal problems and because there are national cadet core cadets in each and every part of the country if there is a problem between communities between people between people in neighborhood these cadets will interfere and involve and they will just speak about the necessity of being humane and brotherly and loving and the problems in the country can be just resolved through the timely interference of a cadet or a grown-up who was once a cadet. So that is yet another aspect to provide a platform for the youth in nation building, making a better country, a, a developed country. And now we move on to the sixth, uh, seventh objective of NCC to instill the spirit of secularism through national integration camps all over India. So every year we have different camps and uh, every state is conducting uh, more than two national integration camps and all these national integration camp is of course a wonderful opportunity for the cadets to have the spirit of secularism. People, people or cadets believing in different religion, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Jainism, okay, different ideologies different caste creed community etc come under the single umbrella that is with a big umbrella national credit core and they just eat together drink together sleep together learn together do things together sing and dance together and they forget the fact that they have a religion and they know the fact that their religion is not significant what is significant is being Indian and uh, that feeling of being Indian, being an Indian is just uh, instilling the feelings of secularism. Okay, all Indians are my brothers and sisters. That very feeling is just instilled in mind and heart and blood and flesh of uh, a national cadet core, rather a cadet. And that is the seventh objective. And now we come to the last objective that is the eighth objective uh, that is to reach out to the youth of friendly foreign countries through yep youth exchange program so it's all the previous seven objectives were of course about what the credit does inside the country how the credit is contributing to his or her nation that is with india 
And now the last objective is just to reach out to friendly foreign countries. This is in fact every created dreams about being a YEP, being a youth exchange program, being a cadet who is selected in youth exchange program. So excellent cadets who have performed wonderfully in the NCC activity will be selected from each and every state or directorate of National Cadet Corps and they will be getting opportunity to go to five foreign countries which are of course foreign nations which are of course very very in, in friendly terms with okay very having a very good relationship with India and uh, often uh, a, a kid a dream about being a YEP youth exchange selected in youth exchange program and they get uh, a lot of opportunities to interact with the kids from other countries to know about foreign uh, uh, countries to know about foreign culture, language, and uh, of course, uh, even they get to know about the armed forces of other countries, the culture, and of course, heritage of other countries. And that is again wonderful experience. And these are the eight objectives of uh, NCC. Let us just remember these great objectives of NCC and understand the fact that NCC will change the personality the identity the character the perspective the outlook of uh, any individual especially young boys and girls in the schools and colleges of uh, india and this is of course a wonderful organization and this is a gateway for our young men to of course join the armed forces to of course uh, become a great leader. So I'm just inviting every uh, young men of the country to join this great organization, the largest youth organization of the world. And of course, let uh, them become great uh, uh, all-rounders, role models and leaders. Thanks a lot for listening and God bless you all.